In part six of our Mad T-shirt series, we're going to be focusing on a really straightforward element of music, dynamics. So what are dynamics? You may already know that dynamics means loud and soft, but perhaps a more accurate way of thinking about it might be the relative loudness of the sound in a piece of music. For example, one flute playing by itself is never going to be as loud as a whole symphony orchestra plus a choir playing and singing loudly. That doesn't mean that the flute isn't playing loud. It's still loud if it's playing as loud as it can, relatively to how quietly it could be playing. So dynamics are all relative. You will have noticed that all of the words for dynamics are Italian. Why do we have so many Italian words in music? It's because the Renaissance period, which was between roughly 1450 and 1600, was a very important time for the development of new musical ideas. This was when composers were first writing markings for dynamics into their music. Nearly all of the important composers at this time were Italian, so it just became conventional to use their terms in all music, no matter where you're from. The good thing is that dynamics are pretty easy to understand and identify. You just have to know the Italian terms. Let's start with the most basic words for loud and quiet. When you see an F marked in the music, it stands for forte, which means loud or more accurately strong. P stands for piano, which means quiet or soft. Of course, sometimes we have extremes of loud or soft in a piece of music. A double F marking stands for fortissimo, meaning very loud. Here is an example of some music that is being played fortissimo. Double P stands for pianissimo, meaning very soft. Issimo means very in Italian, so you can see how fortissimo and pianissimo come from forte and piano. Here's an example of a piece of music that is being played pianissimo. If the dynamics are in between forte and piano, we have an M before the F or P markings. So MF stands for mezzo forte and MP stands for mezzo piano, meaning medium loud and medium soft. Mezzo literally means medium in Italian or half. So again, it links very logically to the basic terms of forte and piano. Sometimes you see an individual note or a chord with an SFZ marking. This stands for sforzando, meaning with sudden emphasis. Here is a piece of music with some sforzando brass chords. Listen out for the sudden emphasis on these chords. Contrasts of dynamics can be a really important feature of the music. Of course, you could have a sudden change from piano to forte or forte to piano, but sometimes the music gets gradually stronger or gradually softer. This is where what we call hairpin markings come in. The hairpins are very easy to understand. As the crescendo hairpin gets wider, the music gets louder. Crescendo means getting louder. Here is an example of a piece of music with a crescendo going from soft to loud.
the diminuendo hairpin gets smaller, the music gets quieter. So diminuendo means getting softer. Here is a piece of music that demonstrates a diminuendo going from loud to soft. We're going to go straight into a quiz to check your understanding of dynamics. Make sure you write down your answers as you go along. You can just do this with the question number and the letter of the answer. First of all, we're simply going to match the dynamic terms with the correct definition. The question numbers are in the left hand column. Match these with the definitions on the right and make a note of your answers. Pause the video now while you do this. Question 9. Listen to the music. Which term best describes the dynamics at the start of this extract? Question 10. Listen to the music. Which term best describes the dynamics at the start of this extract? Question 11. Listen to the music. Which term best describes what happens to the dynamics during this extract? Find me somebody to love. 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 Find me. Question 12. Listen to the music. Which term best describes what happens to the dynamics during this extract? Questions 13 to 15 are about identifying how dynamics are used in this extract. Listen carefully to the music and choose the correct terms to describe the dynamics at the start, in the chorus and on the very last chord. It's oh so quiet. Shh, shh. It's oh so still. so peaceful until you fall in love simple the sky up above simple is caving in wow wow you never be so nuts about a guy you wanna love you wanna cry you cross your heart and hope to die 
Questions 16 to 18 are about identifying how dynamics are used in this extract. Listen carefully to the music and choose the correct terms to describe the dynamics at the start, how they change as the music progresses, and at the end of the extract.